from the Greeks, the Romans create a powerful empire. To move their armies around, they build a system of roads all over the known world. Rome built the first World Wide Web, and it's leading us into the future. library of Alexandria in Egypt is burned. Much of our learning is destroyed, lost forever. Or so we think. It turns out there are copies of some of these books in the libraries of the Middle East, being watched over by Arab and Jewish scholars. Call it the first backup system. The books are saved, and with them our dreams of the future. toil endlessly recording books by hand. But that is about to change. In 1450, Gutenberg invents the movable type printing press. Now knowledge can travel as fast as these new books, and travel they do. Books make it easier to invent the future in every field. And the result is an incredible explosion of innovation we call the Renaissance. Books, it seems, were just the beginning. Now, communication technology races headlong into the future. And soon, people all over the world are sharing life's most important moments faster than ever before. By now, we're all communicating from anywhere on Earth, and in 1969, from somewhere else. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. To send a man to the moon, we had to invent a new language, spoken not by man, but by computers. At first, very large, very expensive computers, but we see the potential. What if everyone could have one of these amazing machines in their own house? There's just one problem. They're as big as a house. The solution comes in, of all places, a garage in California. Young people with a passion for shaping the future put the power of the computer in everyone's hands. Together we form a super network that glows with billions of interactions. And once again, we stand on the brink of a new renaissance. After 30,000 years of time travel, here we are, a truly global community, poised to shape the future of this, our spaceship Earth. Rotating back. Please remain seated. Attention. You are now rotating backward for your return to Earth. Please remain seated, time travelers. Attention.
Attention travelers, please remain seated. Your time machine is rotating back. Attention travelers, please remain seated. Your time machine is rotating back. choices we have made for the past 30,000 years have been inventing the future one day at a time. And now, it's your turn. Let's have some fun creating the future, shall we? On your computer screen, answer a few questions for us. Then we'll show you a new world, custom made just for you. Ready? years on spaceship earth while no one knows for sure what we'll see or do i do know it will be quite an adventure an adventure that we'll take and make together see you in the future your vehicle doors will open automatically please keep your hands 